We're about to estimate this quadratic function over the interval 1 to 6, and we're going to use 10 uh, approximating rectangles and right endpoints. Uh, I have the formulas. We're going to use the Riemann sums down here in the lower right. Uh, you don't need to re-index these to n minus 1, and it's just fine because we're going to have a number here. So let's go ahead and write down what some of these values are. A is 1. B is 6. N is the number of endpoints, which is 10. Delta X, B minus A over N, and that is 6 minus 1 over 10, which is a half. XK is A plus K times Delta X. A is 1 plus 1 half K. So that's XK. All right, your uh, interval, my interval happened to be t uh, half as long as the number of rectangles we're cutting it into, so I got a relatively nice fraction here. You may have an uglier fraction, but uh, the work should be just the same. So let's write down the AN approximation summation, and this is if we use left endpoints. So it goes 0 to n minus 1, f of xk times delta x. And that's left endpoints. So how do you switch this for right endpoints? You just shift it forward 1. So we're going to end 1 later and start 1 later. So you go from k equals 1 to n for right endpoints. So I'm just going for the left endpoints here. Okay, I think we have everything we need to plug into our formula here. Starting at 0, n minus 1 is 10 minus 1, and that's 9. We are effing 1 plus 1 half k, and delta x is 1 half. You could bring the 1 half outside right now. Uh, outside the summation, but let's go ahead and F the 1 plus 1 half K first. Let's rewrite down F of X is X squared plus 3X plus 1. This might be uh, one of the more difficult parts of this problem. Everything else is, as long as you have done this before, uh, it should be pretty straightforward where all the other numbers come from. The formulas can be confusing, but as long as you have them written down, it should be okay. All right, I'm replacing x, which appears twice, with 1 plus 1 half k. So that gets squared plus 3 times that same thing. plus 1 times a half. All right, we have a little bit of algebra to do. The easy part is distributing the 3 into there. We do need to FOIL this term right here. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 half k times 1 half k is 1 fourth k squared. And... Uh, the outside inside, so we have 1 times a half k plus 1 times a half k is just k. All right, so I foiled this and distribute 3 times 1 is 3 plus 3 halves k plus 1 times a half. Let's separate that stuff there. Still have summation k equals 0 to 9. All right, we need to combine terms here. It'd be nice if something canceled, but it won't. Numbers, we have 1 and 3 and 1, so we have 5 for our constant. Now let's go with the k's. I think we have 2k terms, so we have a k plus 3 halves k. So 2 halves plus 3 halves is 5 halves k. Now, I think there's one k squared term. I'll circle that. 
All right, that is everything inside. Yes. All right, now distributing the one half into uh, what I just wrote down is not going to make things better. It's only going to make it a little uglier. So what I'm going to do instead is just shift it out to the front, factor it out. All right, you're basically ready to apply the formulas. We're just going to split over the sums here. So the whole thing is multiplied by a half. So we can write it as a half summation. These are all k equals 0 to 9. So 1 half summation 5 halves k plus a half summation 1 fourth k squared. All right, let's go ahead and factor now. So I'm going to bring the 5 to the front. So we have 5 have summation of a bunch of 1s. And now I am going to be applying the formulas. So we're do, we do need our endpoints here. Factor out the 5 halves times a half is 5 fourths. Summation k. k equals 0 to 9. Plus half times a fourth is an eighth. Summation k squared, k equals 0 to 9. Okay, we have this written in three summations. We have the formulas here in the upper right to get numbers out of here. You don't need to shift the index uh, because you can just use n equals 9, which I know is a little tricky because above we said n was 10, uh, but it's okay. Just use... Just think of n as a local variable right here, and just use the value of 9. What happened? Use a value of 9. You should be okay. Uh, I'll just do it for the, uh, the very last one. So we have 1 eighth. Now the summation is going to disappear, and we're using this n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, and just remember n is 9 for us. So we have 9, it's a big fraction, 9 times 9 plus 1. You can just write 10, that's totally fine. 2 9s plus 1. And this will be divided by 6. Okay, so that's all it takes to use that formula. I used again this one right here. So you are going to use the first one right here for the middle term and you'll add that and the first one's pretty easy we're adding 10 uh, 10 numbers together 10 ones together so it's just times 10 so all you need to do is that middle term uh, and then you do need to turn it into a decimal i did not round anywhere so this should be the exact value when you type it in uh, so if you do the work like i did uh, you don't need to worry about the uh the answer is being accurate to four places. Your answers will be accurate to whatever places your calculator has. So again, I did all this for left endpoints, and it should come out to that number there. So how do we do this for right endpoints? All right, pause it here if you uh, don't want me to write over top of this. So I told you earlier how to do this, and I'm just going to use the orange pen. We're starting at 1 and ending at 10. So that's how it's going to change for right endpoints. You're just shifting to the right one. So you're just adding one to the uh, starting and ending k values. You still have 10 terms, 10 rectangle areas you're adding up. You're just using the 10 starting not at a, but at a plus delta x. And if you look at that xk somewhere, I wrote xk, x one, when a is one, or when k is one, you're starting at that plus just one half, so you're starting at 1.5, which for me would be the first right endpoint of my rectangles.